pandemic and the holidays, we are all shopping online more right now, and that is creating a big opportunity for criminals who are trying to rip you off by selling you counterfeit goods. Channel 3's Caitlin Nuclo has ways you can shop smart in this week's Money Monday report. If you can make it, the counterfeiter will fake it. Officials say counterfeit products cost the global economy more than $500 billion a year. And between the pandemic and the holidays, tis the season for them. We're seeing products like counterfeit hand sanitizer, even counterfeit toothpaste and counterfeit soap. But in addition, there are the counterfeit toys and apparel and other luxury goods that we see every holiday season. Casey Brill with the U.S. Chamber of Commerce says more people will be shopping online this year. So it's created a unique crime of opportunity for scammers to sell more fake goods. From a very scary perspective, we've actually seen a counterfeit ring peddling uh, counterfeit masks and respirators that were destined for first responders. And we're really grateful that law enforcement was able to stop all of those nefarious purchases that would have been you know, delivered direct to our healthcare workers. Officials work all year to spot and stop counterfeit goods, but they also rely on all of us to be aware. Brill says ripoffs often have broken safety seals, unusual packaging, or are missing warranty information. I think it's just important that we're careful where we click this holiday season and we can never be too vigilant when shopping online. So how can you be vigilant? Well, first, look for missing sales tax charges. That's a red flag because counterfeiters often don't report their sales. Second, make sure you're shopping on a secure site. Look for the S in the search bar. And third, be careful when you're buying from abroad. A proactive consumer is also a protected consumer. It's really important that you report. It's part of our duty if we receive a fake, substandard, or shoddy product. That's your Money Monday report. I'm Caitlin Nuclo, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.